Oh, hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Um, happy Thursday morning, right? Because it's Thursday, almost Friday. You almost made it through the week. So, I've had a busy, busy week. Good morning, y'all. Will you pop on if you wouldn't mind saying good morning? Having your cup of coffee, whatever you're doing. Say good morning. If you're new, let us know where you're from. Tell me what you're working on this morning. So I did some shopping this week, and um, I spent two days in town um, shopping. One day shopping for you know groceries and whatnot, and then the other for creation stuff. And so I've lost two days out of the week. So hey, Amy. Good morning. Good morning, sweetheart. How are you? Um, so, I've got a lot of catching up to do. I kind of need to clear my brain from all the business stuff aspect. But um, So, I thought I would work on... I told you Wednesday or Thursday, I would show you how to do um, the bunny woman that I'm working on. Only I didn't wasn't able to work on her while we weren't together. Um... So, I'm just going to do as much as I can today, and then if it dries, then maybe later on tonight I can go live again and we can paint her, um, and I have to make her ears as well. But, um, this is what she looks like so far. Let's zoom in just a little, shall we? Hey, Michelle, my friend, my Colorado girl, how are ya? Y'all, this is Michelle from m and Creations. Say good morning. But anyway, so this is going to be my bunny gal, right? And I showed you how I am making her. So I am in the process of making fur. So I like to paint, but I'm just not very good at it. So I can't make her look like fur or furry um, with paint. So I'm using what medium is working for me to create the desired outcome. So, this is about three layers so far. So I'm gonna show you how I take just a regular, now I purchased this at Hobby Lobby, I don't know, four or five bucks, I can't remember how much it is. Oh, four bucks, Hobby Lobby. So, um, I just start off with her. Oh, Michelle, I am too. I'm so tired. But did you see? I checked the weather this morning. It's supposed to be 56 here tomorrow. What? We get to thaw out. <laughs> we totally get to thaw out. So, you know how sometimes you get these styrofoam heads and they might have a blemish or something? I think I did that personally myself. Um, saving those and doing something that you're going to build on with some um, stuff is a good idea because they don't always stay blemish free. Hey holidays, thank you for sprinkling. Hey y'all, if you aren't a part of holidays creative um, group, you should totally join. Everybody shares all their stuff and we support each other. It's a good group of people there, I tell ya. All right, so I'm gonna pan down just a little bit more y'all so you can see what I'm doing. So, this is uh, the this, this spackle. You use it in your house, you can get it at Home Depot, you can get it at Walmart. I think this container is like eight bucks, okay? Hey Robbie, good morning sweetie, how are ya? Um, so it's just spackle. And I buy the kind that's pink when, I, when you put it on and then when it dries, it dries white, just so I kinda know when it's drying. So, that's what I do. And normally when I work on heads, I have a dowel inside on a wood piece, but I can't find it. So I don't know where it went yet, so I'll have to look for it again. So, but let me, I'm going to zoom in a little more. Okay. Can y'all hear me okay? I have to have my heater on this morning because as Michelle said, uh, we've been pretty cold out here, but everybody can hear me okay? Like, let me know you can hear me trying to talk louder. 
So the only thing you need to do this project so far is just your styrofoam head, some spackle, some uh, wipes and paper towels to clean off your hands or your smock. <laughs> I use my smock. Um, I have this tool here. So it's for sculpting and whatever with like clay, okay? If you don't have something like this, it's okay, get a butter knife, uh, a fork. Fork would work good too for what we're gonna be doing. So when you start this, um, you need to envision to you what a bunny woman would look like, okay? Oh good, thank you Robbie for letting me know, sweetheart. Um, envision in your mind um, well, okay. No, I won't say it. Okay, just envision in your mind what a, a bunny woman creature would look like in your mind. And then start building slowly to, to try to make that come to fruition, okay? Um, and what I do is I, so when you, when I look at a bunny or a dog or any kind of animal, their nose, the bridge of their, their eyes is kind of wide. And, you know, and it's furry and the fur kind of goes. So that's just what I was kind of envisioning when I was like starting this. Hey, good morning. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Vicki. I think Vicki is another one of my Colorado ladies that's been freezing. Haven't you? <laughs> uh, this is gonna, all right. So this stuff's just, just pink, y'all, it's just pink. Um, and if this, if this, if you leave this open and it starts to turn white, it's okay. But if it starts to get hard, add a little bit of water to it and put the lid back on for a few days. It's great stuff and it's inexpensive. That's what I love about it. So, be prepared to get your hands a little bit dirty, you guys. But it's really no, but you'd have to work in um, stages with it. At least I do. So... Like, nobody taught me this. I just figured it out, you know? And this is just what I do. Sometimes when you use this stuff, if you get too thick too fast, it will crack. But all you do is fill it in. So it's not a big issue. And then remember when you're doing these, right? Um, most of the time, um, if you sell these or you're making it, you really only need to worry about the front of the face here because back here... It usually gets filled in with florals and all kinds of stuff. So you're really only focusing on just the face, okay? So like I said, the bridge of the nose is what I think first. So, <laughs> this is so unorthodox, I know. So all I do is I put like a dollop, dollop, um, on the bridge of the nose, and I work slowly spreading the edges. Now also, what I like about using this, I mean you can use clay, you can go out and buy clay, this is just cheaper, and it's something that I always have some of, um, is that you can get it wet and smooth it out um, and stuff too. So I'm just creating a higher bridge of her nose, okay? and I want it to be wide, but it's too wet to push down to make it um, a little bit too wide. So you just have to kind of work slow, bringing out your corners like that. Am I close enough? Should I zoom in a little bit more? How's that, guys? That's better, huh? So I do try to like, you know, smooth this into where I'm going. So, and don't worry if you get into the eye area. Like I said, you can take a Q-tip or a wet rag and clean that off and make it smooth later. But what we're trying to create is that, you know, a bunny has like a wide brimmed, and that's just my artistic view of what I want my bunny to look like. Your bunny can look like anything. And then kind of an abrupt stop on the bottom, okay? And then in the end, you can sand this or you can just use a wet cloth. So the first few layers, 
is not going to look at the finished product, okay? You just kind of have to keep doing the layers. And as it dries, you can work with it a little bit. And I will tell you, once you work with it a little bit and your finger gets kind of a lot on it, you just need to try to wipe it off so that it'll be smooth again. Now for my bunny lady, I want, I want her eyes and her lips to be somewhat human-like. So um, I'm trying to leave the lip area a little bit alone, but I do want that bunny kind of a nose. And so building it out and making it wider and her eyes being sunk back into her fur a little bit is what I'm going for. So that's all I'm gonna do for the bridge of the nose for now. So as the day goes on, I'll make it wider and wider until it's more like the other one. Let me put the other one out here. Now I will say, when you do this, it does make them let's see, a bit heavy. I mean, the front is heavy, so it'll fall over. So, um, all right, so now, get a little bit. I usually keep my lid on here. I'm going to do that. So to get around the face like this, I just kind of like did a worm kind of, and it is kind of sticky. It doesn't want to be a worm, but so I'm building it out because I want the front of her face to be a bit furry. And I'm just bringing all that forward, you guys. Oh, I always forget to ask. If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, I would sure appreciate it. Maybe somebody else has been kind of struggling with how to create their own kind of mannequin head, furry mannequin head looking. Okay. So I know she kind of looks like more creature from the Black Lagoon. But she won't when we're all done. At least that's the hope, right? So, put this on here. Don't worry about behind just yet. You can clean that up later. Okay. Oops, sorry, I got out of frame a little bit, didn't I? Hey, Virginia. Good morning, sweetheart. How are you? Hey, did you get that? Did you win that head that I did, that I gave away? Did you get it? Was it you, Virginia? Your uh, niece? She said she was working on her first, I, I'm thinking it's you, if it's not, honey, just tell me. But she said she was working on her first mannequin head. So we're just bringing those together. All right, let me wash my hand, wipe my hands off a little bit. So this next part, no, you did not. You're not the one whose niece won it, or you didn't get it. Well, I hope it's the first one, not the second one. Okay. Or poor Virginia. Maybe I get you confused with someone else all the time. Okay, to get the bra to get the fur looking, this is how I do it, y'all. So I just use a tool like this. You could use a fork even. A fork might even be a little bit better because you'll have more, more um, things doing the work for you. So I just pull it and pull it and pull it and pull it and pull it. See what that's doing? And you keep pulling and you push a bit to bring that out. See what it's kind of doing? It's bringing it out and making it a bit flatter. And if it does that, just smooth it back on there. If it starts to pull away. Which there are some spots on here, it pulls away a lot. I'm sure probably there's a technical thing I could do to make it not do that, but I don't know what it is. didn't get it. What do you mean didn't get it? I mailed it quite a long time ago. 
Well, actually, I mailed it to your niece. I think she gave me her address. Um, we'll have to find, I'll have to go back and see what that tracking was and stuff to make sure your niece got it. Because I did. I mailed that out just like two days after we had that live. Okay, see how that's working? See how it's looking like fur, you guys? Yes, receive. Oh no. Oh honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, Georgiana. Hey. That's it. You know, I think Georgianne, you and Virginia, I think I constantly in my mind like get confused all the time. And I'm really sorry. Once my mind starts going with like something, it like continually does it. And it's like I'm aware that it does it, but I can't stop it. I'm so sorry, you guys, that I get you guys confused. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Sorry, Virginia. Virginia, I'm always trying to like, push stuff off on you, aren't I? Okay. So that's like the first layer around here on this side. So now I'm just going to come up here and work on the forehead a bit. Oh, I'm so sorry about your bone. My gosh. You know what I thought about doing with one of these mannequin heads, you guys? That cow. That cow that's so flipping cute. The, the Scottish cow that's so popular right now. And I know you look at a human head and you're like, what? But you could like totally like kind of sculpt it out and stuff. I want a Scottish cow so bad. And we looked into it out here at the farm. They are so expensive, guys. So expensive. So your first rough in doesn't have to be perfect. You just need a basic shape to start putting um, stuff in. And I don't know, this might be, um, yeah, Michaela one. Um, because I carve, thinking in 3D, it might be a little easier for me. Working in mediums is definitely a lot easier than talking or <laughs> anything technical for me. So... And we're going to be putting ears over here. So if that one dries good enough, and I'm, well, i got to do another layer on that one. But if it dries good enough, I'll make the ears today. I do have a lot of bows to get to. I haven't even been able to do a, a bat bow this week. Okay, so a basic shape, right? And then we're just putting in lines over and over and over and over and over again. And we're pulling it out. Because when you pull it out, it creates that. And that's what looks like fur. You know what I mean? That pulls that out and just starts to kind of look furry. At least in my mind it does. So. And where you have it thicker, you can push and bring it up and it kind of flattens it out. It's tedious, but I think our end result will be cool. At least I'm hoping. But if I was a really good painter, like um, creepy holiday stuff, what, um, what's her name? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, she's amazing. She does such a beautiful job on all of her mannequin heads. Um, she was my inspiration when I first started trying to do these. And then I'm just going to come down the nose a little bit, just a little, putting in a few. I'm going to be doing more layers on here, so I don't want to do too much of it. I'm just going to fill them in. But if you just kind of do it on your way. What's everybody doing this morning? Are you guys like... Morning is a great time for me. My brain works best in the morning. 
I've had such a stressful week that yesterday, and I haven't been sleeping. I like go on uh, things where I don't sleep for days, like my brain won't turn off. So I've been on one of those this last bit, this last four or five days. And then finally yesterday I crashed and fell asleep. So stressful. I don't know if you've never not been able to sleep before, but it really sucks. And the nice thing about fur is it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys, right? So see what we're what we're going after. Iced in. Oh, Virginia. Well, Virginia, where are you from? You've been cold too. Here in Colorado, guys, we're super cold. It's just been terrible. What? Last night I woke oh, I was headed to town. Was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday. Um, to get some things and started driving into town and I have a diesel truck y'all I, you know on a farm got a big diesel dually truck and the it should have been a clue right clue number one was the doors were frozen shut and I couldn't get into the truck except on the passenger side so um, that should have been a clue so I let the truck warm up for a good 15 minutes, you know, before I leave, like my husband's taught me. <laughs> and um, I'm driving into town, and I get, like, a, town's like 20 minutes away from me. So I get out on the highway and whatnot, and all of a sudden, I'm going 60 miles an hour, and then all of a sudden the truck goes down to 25 miles an hour. Oh, my God. So I'm like crap. So I'm like, okay, well, do I stop or do I keep going? I'm pretty sure it's probably just so cold outside that the diesel gelled up, like the fuel gels up. So I call my husband and he's like, quickly go to, you know, the parts store right when you get into town and buy this 911 anti-freeze gel stuff. I was like, okay, okay. So I walk into the anti-gel freeze place. Oklahoma, 25 to 30. Oh, oh, who's got a nice storm? I can't touch my screen, honey. Sorry, you've got an ice storm. Those stink. So anyway, I walk into the parts store, right? If you're just joining, honey, we're just making, I'm um, just working on this mannequin head, and this is just that pink spackle that dries uh, white. I walk in and I tell the guy, I was like, I need the 911 and he's like, we're out. Like tons of people were in there and everybody was having the same problem. So this does start to get heavy and if you don't want it to ruin, you have to control it. I gotta get my hands clean. So he's like, did it die or not? And I was like, no, it's running I'm just afraid it's gonna stop so I was able to find this other stuff put it in my tank and was able to get my errands done but boy I tell you what that was so stressful so cold thank you sweetie for loving my lives we're just uh and it's a hodgepodge morning I'm doing a a wreath in this and I thought well why not somebody might find it interesting I try to share my talents where I can. And learning something like this is fun, you know. People kind of don't know where to start with a head sometimes, and it's really not, it's not intimidating. Just go for it. And then all I'm using here is this tool. It's just a wooden tool, but I think a fork, a fork would look, would work really nicely, guys. Okay. And I do it like this because I cannot paint. I try to paint. I've shown you guys a few of my paintings when I go to Breckenridge, I try to paint, but I am not a painter. I do love my Bob Ross, watching Bob Ross paint though. Anybody else like to paint or carve or anything when they're not doing artsy crafty stuff?
I'm real excited. Who's in my class for the bow? Oh, you have. Oh, I'm so glad to show you. So, well, and this is how I do it. Like I said, I don't know if it's the right way or um, whatever, but I was thinking what would work for me. So, it's usually how I do things. So, we just keep layering, layering all those little marks that we're doing. Let me turn this way so you can see. And then we pull it, we pull it out. Don't be afraid to push push that soft stuff out. And if it starts to pull away, just because you'll, you'll do layers of this, like several layers. And I've tried to think of a way I could do this in one tutorial. But I would have to have like five or six of these gals in different stages to do it as a tutorial all in one thing. So I'm not quite sure. I usually don't make that many of any one kind. Just because, um, so they're not expensive to make, but you do put a lot of time, a um, lot of time into these. So, let's see. So she's looking pretty good. Let's put a little bit on her chin. And if you're just joining, we're just using this spackle, right? Just from, I think I actually picked this one up at Walmart the other day, because my other one was about empty. And uh, like I said, in my mind, I envision my humanoid kind of creature bunny gal with kind of more humanish lips, I think, and humanish eyes. But you have to determine in your mind, you have to be the artist and figure out how you want yours to, to look. Then just try to smooth the edges where you go. It'll make your job easier later if you try and smooth the edges into your project. So, and you start with the outside first, and then you bring the fur in because you get shorter and shorter as you come in. So it's easier to start on the outside and then kind of work your way in, I think. Oop, let me cover up my stuff here. It's my chair. Okay. So, get your basic shape first. And then just pull, pull, pull with your little tool. Try to do it so you can see. And you don't have to be completely, you know, gentle, too gentle. It'll move. And then when you go to paint it, it will require a lot of, um, have you heard of dry brushing before? Um, so dry brushing will be required to get that look on the, on the mannequin head. See, it wants to pull away from that, so we're just going to make sure that it's nice and firm on there. There's probably a medium I should use before I do this, but I don't know what it would be but I haven't had problems with it coming off once it dries, so. How's she looking, guys? Oh, honey, I'm sorry, I got away from the camera. Am I back? Shoot. Julie, hi. You love your bow. You got it already? Nice. Now remind me, which, which bow did you get, Julie? Um, was it the... I'm sorry, I can't. I've had a few orders for them lately. But I'm so glad you like your bow. Nice and firm, huh? Is it going to be fun to work with? I think it's fun to work with. It'll be great inside anything. Okay, guys, so I think this is 
where I'm going to stop on this one for now because all that needs to dry and then I'll do this process only thinner smaller pieces on the inside right so that's her for now and then see how that is on the back don't worry about all that because whoever gets her will want to decorate the back like we do the heads okay so it's just kind of like that all the way around don't even worry about it so I'm gonna set her and like I said if you try to set her down all your work will go poop and she'll just tip over okay so I find something like this to put them in because normally I have a I have a wooden thing that has a dowel sticking up out of it and if you put that in there it'll stay but I don't know what happens to it I can't find it all right oh thanks Robbie thanks babe all right oh and this one's quite a bit heavier than that one is um, so this one Obviously, I've worked on a little bit more than that one. So, we're just going to add a little bit more, I think, a little more here so I can get the look that I'm going after, and then just a little bit more here. I want to add a little bit more because the nose, I want to make black. You know how like a bunny's nose is. So, I think I might need something. And then I plan on drilling like little holes in and putting whiskers, um, which is probably, I don't, I might just paint some wire black so I can do a little curly cues in it and stuff. Don't you think that would be cute? All right, let me clean off, hold on, let me clean this tool off. If this starts to dry and it gets clumps on it, you won't get your nice edges that you got on there so it pays to keep this kind of clean okay on the other one we did have quite a lot like we clumped it on but that was like the first layer this one so I discovered with this one I wanted the outside to be more fluffy so I did more on that one this one um, didn't turn out as fluffy so Here I need to have a little fluffiness. A little fluffiness in there, huh? So, I'm just going to add some of this. Squeezing out my edges smooth on there. And then if I take the extra and just kind of smear a thin layer on, I will be able to make the, the fur. This needed to be a little thicker right there. I have a lot on my finger so it's not wanting to stick. So if you just clean off your finger, then it does better. So, and then in here in the eye area, you just want to make your stroke. Um, because I wouldn't be able to smooth around it. Like if I added the whiskers, because I did think about that, adding the whiskers when it was wet, I can no longer manipulate anything around it. And then when I went to paint it and everything, those whiskers would just be in my way. Um, so I didn't want to deal with the whiskers being in my way. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do it after. So right there I started doing the whisker or the fur up and I have to remember that in their face the whiskers kind the or the fur kind of comes away. So remember to do it on the plane that you need to do it on. Right? And pull these down this way, up this way. So just imagine, or look at your furry friends, look at our furry babies, right? And um, see how their fur is. That didn't want to stay with my finger. It's been a hard week too because we did have a gal, a lady who took time out of her day 
she delivers papers out in our area and she thought she saw our dog and uh, in a ditch. So my husband went out that night for a couple of hours looking and didn't find it. And then that lady drove all the way from town back out where she saw it and took a picture and it ended up being a deer. But our fur baby Prometheus is still not home. It's really hard for me because with my brain injury and stuff, I it's important to me that I feel safe and protected and without him out here it's hard. So but so anyway, we're just gonna keep our fur going. I'm just gonna push that in there more so it'll let me manipulate it. It's a lot of touch feeling. Like you don't know how deep and stuff to go until you start playing around with it. Oh, hi, Jamie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, the, um, so all this right here was all pink. It just changes colors. I just bought this, oh crap, I left the lid off. This spackle, and I got this actually from Walmart. But you can get it at Home Depot or pretty much any, any place that sells home home it you fill holes with it <laughs> I don't know why that's one spot is not cooperating with me very well so and we're just making our fur kind of come out every which way could you know our fur babies and stuff how their faces look hey Gigi's crafty hands Gigi's crafty hands welcome we're just doing a little bit of mannequin stuff this morning. When you're doing it and you're kind of sculpting stuff on your mannequin, it's lots of layers over the course of lots of days. So be prepared for some, and it doesn't take a long time over the course of a couple days, but it does take some time. So this I want to add on the nose the nose wasn't quite there yet. I hadn't, because this part here shouldn't have any fur on it, and then the fur, you know, as we look at our, our fur babies and stuff, the fur kind of comes out, but this needed to be just a little different shape in my mind. And as this dries, you can pat it, and it'll take shape a little bit. Like I said, you can use clay. You can um, use clay as your medium or whatever. This is just what I have readily available at my house because we're always building or making or fixing something. So I have this. Yummy. What's yummy? The pink stuff looks like frosting. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? So, and up here, I'm just, I want more fur look, so I'm going to push this in, even to all the spots that I did, and just kind of re-go over the fur. Same thing with this side. I'm just pushing this in, just to make it wet one more time, so that I can work on the fur, fur looking. I said, I only do this because I can't paint. If I could paint and it would look like fur, but I've tried it. I'm just not. I think that's why on my downtime I like to paint and I like to carve. Because, you know, it, it takes a little bit to get that skill down and going. So... like my carving and my paintings I don't sell so they don't have to be perfect to me everything else I really stress about if it's good enough you know like I really stress on if it's good enough like you don't I had um, this week you guys I had such a meltdown brain injury oh hey Norma so we're working on a mannequin head. I um, 
we are, I am wanting to make a bunny lady face. And so in my mind, my bunny lady face, I'm gonna make ears out of fabric and wire and stuff. But in my mind, I want to kind of humanoid, but bunny. So we're just creating a wide bridge. So this one, um, we just started. So this was like phase one. Um, just getting the basic kind of shapes down. And I know her nose looks crooked. It'll fix later. So, and it has to dry. So there's like lots of times and lots of layers. So, and all we're doing is we're using spackle, like that pink spackle. I keep forgetting to put my lid on, it's gonna dry out. We're just using pink spackle and a little tool like this. And you just take and you make like kind of, you push and drag, push and drag, push and drag. Um, and the fur, you just try to create it in the directions. Like when you look at your fur baby or a picture of an animal, like what direction their fur goes into from their face and if you keep doing this and keep doing this as it gets dry you'll notice like it looks differently like when it's really dry or when it's not so dry just gotta play it play with it you know buy one of these faces at Hobby Lobby right they're only four bucks um, I used to buy them when they would give you that coupon, but you don't get that coupon anymore. So, um, <laughs> thank you, Norma. Jamie, are you in the bow class, sweetie? Yes, I'm looking forward to it. I'm still trying to perfect an easy way for you all to learn how to do it because it is, um, they are time consuming, y'all. They're time consuming. Um, and they do take a bit of different kinds of products, um, but I think they're worth it. I don't know, who got their bow this week? Who did, it, um, was it Julie? Um, said they got their bow this week. How do you feel about your bow? Tell everybody if you, you know, how you, it was good. It's gonna be awesome in your designs as a designer. It's gonna add something different that isn't out there. That's my vision, guys. Like this year, my focus is y'all. Um, so we all have to have our perfect uh, customer in mind. And um, I'm just focusing on what I think designers would like and what I would like out there. But I am, um, but I think I like to carve and stuff because I don't think it has to be perfect. Anything I offer you guys, I feel like it has to be top notch and perfect. and earlier this week I had an order on something and I forgot to take it off my Etsy and someone ordered it before I took it off and I didn't have everything I need and I had literally a meltdown on the floor bawling my eyes out because I did not want to have to tell this customer that I screwed up and she wouldn't get what she wanted so that's just me guys I anyway so how do you do you see the face on how it's just bringing, and it wasn't hard guys, you saw I was just taking that little tool, and as long as that tool is clean, then you can like make all these furry marks, right? And if this one is done later, then we'll work on painting her, but there's just no way I can do a tutorial without having like six or seven of these guys in different stages. So I think we just might have to do tutorial little bit at a time when we work on kind of like something else too so oh yeah. yes Norma I am too me too I am um, and you know I don't want I don't want uh, um, bad reviews because I put my heart and soul in everything I do and if I was to get a bad review it would just break my heart I know I'm going to right laws of averages and can't make everybody happy all the time but and I've just had a rough week because I just I've gotten lots of messages from um, people and I just feel like um, sometimes like oh I don't know I guess it's not important 
but I try to share a lot. Um, you're still trying to figure out which link for the bow class and do we buy material too. So yes, Robbie, um, a couple of days before the class, um, I will mail out the pattern and the um, ingredients list or the, your supply list. Um, that will happen probably um, a Thursday. Um, I will mail you out something before then uh, for you to kind of look over. And then, uh, but that link for the bow class, it's, it's pinned at the top and it's a pink bow and you just have to click the event and then I think it takes you through how to um, get on the get in the class. Um, it's a three. It's going to be like a three-hour class. We may get done earlier than that. Uh, we may go a little over, but it's an interactive class. So instead of just buying the tutorial online, I'm going to be available for like questions and and to really show you how to do it. I just wanted to do my class like that. That way, if people had questions or whatever, they can ask it to me. And then also, um, Facebook says that you will have access, once you've paid for that class, you'll have access to watch that particular live whenever you want. So that's a good thing too, because I know some people are afraid that I might go too fast. So, um, so yeah. But I think there's only six, five or six slots left. Um, so this one, so I think she's looking more and more like a like a bunny. We gotta make her nose a little flatter. So as she dries, if we just kind of push, we can manipulate that. So, and any fur we get in the eye areas that we don't want, all we have to do is like wet something. Let's see, do I have, let me grab, I'll show you. That's why I love working with this stuff. This spackle is just great. So this is dry, right, right here. Say we didn't want that, all you gotta do is come in with like a wet um, something, uh, like I use a wet uh, ear cleaner, what are those called? Um, the thing you clean your ear out with. But, and how some of this is really rough, all you gotta do is take something a little bit wet and you can totally take it off. You know, or you can just smooth out the edges. Like give it a little bit of a smoothing. Like I don't know if you can see that. Like, see how that smoothed that? Like it totally took off some. So, uh, Q-tip. Yes, Gigi, thank you. I can't like get my brain to work sometimes. Hey, Mama. Y'all, Pamela is my Mama. So... But, so we'll see how much she dries and if she's going to be ready to paint. Um, I got a little bit in the lips that I really didn't want to. So I'm just going to like wrap my tool a little bit with this wet. Put my glasses back on so I can see. And then just try to take off where I wanted her lips. And this is a Clorox wipe, but you don't have to use Clorox wipe. I, I don't have water, running water out here, so I didn't have any water on me. So, because we want, I want kind of lips, and so as this dries, see how you can just, it doesn't stick to your finger as much anymore. Like earlier, it was like sticking to my finger every time I touched it, but as it starts to dry, it's very manipulatable. But anyway, that's how I start like anything that I do. Like I've done, um, if any of you have seen my Frankenstein heads, that's the same how I did Frankenstein. I used this and made his scars on his face and things. Um, over the years, I'm getting better with eyes because I watch uh, creepy holiday stuff. I watch a, uh, is her name Eva, e Eva, Eva? I, I don't know. I should know that because, but I can't recall her name right now. But she is great. So if you ever want to know how to paint them and things like that, she's amazing. You should watch her and she'll teach your eyes. And I think she has private groups too. 
Oh, thanks, Ma thanks, Robbie, for saying hi to my mama. Awesome, Gigi. Gigi's Crafty Hands. I like that. It's a cool name. Um, so anyway, but she may be done later. Now, if she is done later, I'll go live later on um, tonight or maybe tomorrow, and we will paint her. So, um, if you want, go out and grab one of your things. They're only four bucks, and then your thing is spackle. And just throughout the day, kind of work on your fur and stuff. And then um, tomorrow, well, maybe, maybe tonight. Maybe she'll be done. I just have a, I think I need more fur here um, and stuff. So, but I'll see once this is dry. Um, but then when you go to paint, you're going to paint um, and seal it in. So I will cover it in, <laughs> I use uh, Elmer's glue. So when, one time I ran out of Mod Podge and I didn't have anything, and but I had like the white Elmer's glue. So I will seal it in the white Elmer's glue and then we'll do a base paint. Um, for the whole thing and then a few colors to go in over it to kind of of course make it three like um fur, furry texture and then we'll dry brush if you haven't dry brushed before dry brushing can be kind of fun frustrating sometimes but it, it can be fun Eveth, Iveth, Iveth, yes thank you connie thank you Iveth. yes she is amazing and I just love her personality. I love all her posts. If you don't watch, like, her posts are, like, right on a lot of times. But I just love her. She's awesome. So, but anyway, and I will um, see if I can get the ears done today because the ears are going to be fabric and made of wire. Do you guys know how to make ears? Like, have you ever made, like, ears for a bunny or whatever? Or do you want to know how to do that? Um, so I will make ears. And then I'll place the ears on here, and, but I do want a little bit of, I think, this around where I'm going to put the ears in. It can't be on the ears because obviously it would crack off, but I do want it to come pretty close. So, uh, anyway, that's how I'm doing that. So, I'm going to put these over here to dry. Hopefully. Yeah. I gotta find my dowel. That's pretty terrible. Okay. And then I told you I'm working on a on a wreath and I I'm gonna do a wreath too. So if you'd like to hang out, we're just gonna do I had all my from the other night you guys, I had my um let's see. I had all my succulents out and stuff. And I just had an idea for a wreath, and so I need to, like, get it out of my mind and create it so I can move on to the next thing. So, I, uh, if you remember, we did, um, we did one of these. I'm actually going to put them on the ground, because I think I might knock them off if I'm not careful. And I don't want them to fall. Connie, welcome, welcome. Oh, Amy, you do want to know how to make um, the ears? Okay, I can do a tutorial on that. That's It's pretty easy. I'll try to do that in the next couple of days. Um, so all you'll need for that is like some 22 gauge wire or 20 gauge wire is even better. Maybe even 18 is good too. Um, uh, some fabric you can use felt if you want fabric um, and then furry for the back part of the ears so like a pink for the inside of the ears um, and a hot glue gun so yeah I'll try to do that next in the next few days sweetie nice okay so I bought these here why not 
Oh, thanks, Gigi. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you see my butterfly bow sticking out there? Look. It's my butterfly bow. Isn't it so cute? Isn't it so cute? Look at that. So cute. They're nice and firm. So cute. In my Etsy shop, guys. This guy's still in my Etsy shop. Put this up and over so it's not sticking out. Okay. Oh, thank you, guys. Thanks for the love. Thank you. Okay. This wreath. So I got this wreath, I believe I got it at Joann's a couple of years ago. It was on super clearance. Um, but I love this wreath. It is so... All these things are already on it. All these wonderful, beautiful, twiggy things. It's so beautiful. And um, originally... Oh, here's the tag. I'll be able to see. Hold on. I think it was Joann's. Um, and I don't know if they have them this year or not. I haven't... Floral bouquet. Yep, Joann's. And originally this is like $49.99. So it's a bit pricey originally, but wait till it goes on sale. Um, so all I'm going to do is I have a little bunny. Let's see. So you just look at it and figure out where you want your top to be. Right? Where do we want the top? I think I had it kind of, I think I had it like this. I'm going to set the bunny right here. So just kind of figure out in the beginning where you want like your big stuff. So this bunny I also got at Joann's. Pretty sure, yep, bunny's at Joann's, Ashley, Ashland. So all we need to do, you don't just want to glue him in, right? So we want to use our handy dandy wire and most of the time, what is this, 22 gauge. So Amy, with your ears, this is like the minimum, uh, 18 gauge would be better. You'll have more flexibility with it. This one's kind of thin to, to hold ears. And if you don't know what kind of wire, let's see don't have it over here. Uh, there's a wire and it starts with O. It's like O-O-H or something like that. It's really good wire because even though it's heavier gauge, it's still like made of aluminum so it's flexible. So we are just going to stick this through our bunny. See if we can anyway. Sometimes the wire will go through these guys because they're nice and soft and sometimes it won't. You do! Nice! <coughs> nice. Okay. So, when it has this stuff, you don't always have to go through it. Let's see if we can go around the bunny and hide it. Because otherwise I have to fiddle with it for a while to get it to go through. Should have made my wire longer. All right, I'm gonna pull this tight around my bunny and give a twist. And I might have to add more wire on here. So we will hot glue him, but we're gonna reinforce for, I know guys, let me try this. <laughs> I don't know if this will work on my, I might have to turn around and do it. Oh, what's sad? Someone did a sad face, are you okay? Let's see if we can do it like this. If not, I'll put it up on the board. But my back is killing me this morning, so. All right, so we want our bunny over here like this. So, 
we will glue it, but I always like to give a little more support. And when I put my wire in, guys, I put it in the middle and then pull it out, okay? Um, I don't wrap it around the whole wreath. I usually just put it through the middle. And then we are going to twist this until it becomes nice and taut. Where are my last? Okay. Usually I have wire, or uh, what's that called? Needle nose over here to get it really nice and tight. But I don't right now. So we wire our bunny in and then we will secure them again with some hot glue. That way your customer does not have to worry about the bunny coming out. So, a gnome bunny, yeah. Gnomies are so cute. People keep waiting for the gnomey thing to like not be popular anymore. But, and the same thing with, um, buffalo plaid and stuff. Where I live, the truck, the buffalo plaid, or buffalo plaid and um, the gnomies, they're not going anywhere soon, for sure. All right, so just getting my stick over here. So I have a glue pot and I just use this. So this bunny, just gonna put some hot glue on his little bum. And then we're gonna hold them down. Now, when you put your bunnies and stuff like that in, you need to take care that your bunny isn't sticking out the back so that your wreath is not going to hang properly. So you wanna make sure that you have a medium, or your, not a medium, I'm sorry. You wanna make sure that your back, the back of it is, you know, gonna be as flat to the surface as possible. Otherwise it hangs funny. You never go. <laughs> oh, I got you, babe. You're okay. I'll see you next time. My house needs a good thorough cleaning, too. But. Okay. Let me put the spackle aside. So all these twisty things are going to find a spot. But for now, I'm just going to get them out of my way so I can create, but I am going to use them later. So let's just pull them all up and out of the way. Guys, I may just have to stand up and not be so dang lazy. But my back, I have such a bad back. All right, so I have a couple of these guys. And I just thought, oh my gosh, they almost look like cabbages. They're succulents, but they almost look like cabbages. So I just thought I would um, use these up. Um, these I bought from a business that was going out of business, so I don't know where you can find anything like this, but they're super light. And I'm just going to be putting one here and I think one down here. Yeah, I thought they looked like cabbages. I was like, wow. Because I did see, if anybody is looking for cabbages, I did see that um, Joanne's had some this year. It's pretty, they're really flipping cute. And I think we'll put one in at the bottom over there kind of coming over here. Because then that creates kind of a triangular shape. Okay guys, I'm just gonna put it on the wall. I'm just gonna put it on the wall. Let's do it on the wall. I think you'll be able to see better. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see. Oh, 
you just had a delivery. Oh, hey, Pam. Hi, C. Um, I, the bunny is from uh, Joanne's. I want to be able to zoom in so you can see. So, how's that, guys? Okay. So, and then this one we're just going to put down here to kind of create a little bit of a interest, architectural kind of interest in our um, wreath. I ordered some stuff from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. I'm waiting for a delivery from Hobby Lobby. So hopefully it gets here soon. I made, I was going to be teaching you guys something really fun and something that I thought would be popular for selling later this year so that you guys could have that. And so I ordered this product from Amazon because I have to have what I need to show you to make. And it said, like, when, you, when I ordered it, will be delivered by, like, January 27th or something like that. Well, it wasn't delivered, and I got on there, and now it says March 1st through something else. Man, I hate when that, has anybody had that happen to them? Oh, Norma, thank God I have, um, in our business, right, we all, obviously we don't get paid an hourly wage, but, um, no, in our business, when it's on sale, you need to grab it, but with the same token, you need to make sure you use it later, you know what I mean? But I'm hoping, so I'm hoping that my classroom is done here in the next few months. And so I did do a big purchase at Joanne's the other day for um, things to teach in my classes here at the farm. So I hope it gets built, but yeah, no. Um, you hate waiting too. Yeah. Oh, Connie, thank you for the stars, babe. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Stars are going to help me build my classroom. <laughs> I hope. Okay. So I've got some carrots here. These carrots are also Joann's. I think we're doing like a Joann thing. The only thing that's not Joann's, I think, is these florals that I got. And I was using these the other day in the boho. But I thought just a couple of these... How cute is that? I mean, just a couple. Or maybe it'd be cute to go this way. I don't know, we'll see. But I did just want to do one thing of carrots. Just kind of, these may be too big. I wanted to keep a threesome, but maybe it's not a good idea to keep a threesome. So maybe I'll cut these apart. Or we can do these. We see. Sometimes you just need the man handle. No, I'll cut them apart and use them. Yeah. Well, I just hate that they advertise. You know, it'll be there here at this time, and then you plan for it. Because guys, what I want to show you is going to be so darn cute, and I I hate. So I, if I could, I would just share my talents. And if I didn't have to sell anything, if I didn't have to, that's all I would do like all day long is like show other people how to make beautiful things and be happy. But we got bills to pay, right? We have bills to pay. And um, yeah, but this thing that I want to show you, I almost kept to myself um, to kind of have the mark corner on it, I guess, or something, and um, we're just going to put that right there, Walk, talk and do, talk and do, that's hard for me, but anyway, I think y'all would just love it, and I think it'll be kind of fun to make, so I'm going to share it with you guys, 
and it's making like these candy things. They're so cute. They're gonna be so cute. And it's, there's no clay involved. Um, I love the clay stuff that's coming out, and I could totally get into it, but I can't afford to start another kind of um, thing. I gotta stick with what I stick with what I'm doing. I think that we'll put one carrot kind of coming down this way too, and then maybe one more here. I think that might be kind of cute. Create our little triangle. What happened? What just happened? Pam, what happened? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Norma. Thank you very much. From depths of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Uh, Thank you. I mean, it's just, it's the thought that you guys care enough to do that that just makes me feel good, so thank you. But anyway, I think you guys will enjoy making these little candies that um, I want to make. So that's why I want to share, share that with you guys. So, um, and then I think one carrot going this way. What do you think? That would be cool. Thank you. I saw adorable clay bunny butts. Oh, the, the clay stuff is so cool. And I could totally get into it, but I have to, I have a lot invested in the business that I have, so I can't like change it up, you know? So I have to leave that to my, my gals. I don't know if you guys have ever watched. There's one gal. Oh my gosh, she's so talented. Oh, and I'm trying to think of her. I can't remember her name, but I think her page is up and coming or up and growing or something like that. I just have to hold that a little bit. She's amazing. Her talent is just amazing. And these people that are making these, I want to make one of those really big um, nutcracker people thing, but... I can't get into anything else, you know, promised myself that I would keep it. Now this isn't going to need much, you guys, I don't think. I don't think we need to add very much to, the, oh, I have some that are already cut. I don't think we need to add very much. So, um, you know, just a couple more succulents that have just a little bit of color, I think, and maybe like a couple of these that I have left over. And I think that that is, you know, really all. I like the orange here, so I want to bring a little bit of the orange here. And then maybe up top over here if I have two of these. Is that orange? Yeah, these are the same. So, um, I do know Hobby Lobby has these succulents, y'all. Yes. I just, if I could clone myself, I would be, um... Crystal, I'm assuming is her name, with Glitz and Glue. Oh, I have never heard her. I'll have to try to uh, check her out. Yeah, well, I don't know. Okay, um, Pam, honey, I don't know if they have this in there this year. I didn't see it. This I did by last year when they had their clearance sale. And when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, my gosh, that's hideous. But no, it's amazing. And I don't know if you saw this. This one up here. Did I do this one on a live? Did I do this on a live, guys? That's the same. This one is the same. It's the same wreath, right? But I just made it um, for like St. Patrick's Day. So initially, when you look at the wreath, you're like, oh my gosh, it's hideous. But no, you can do so much with it. It's just so. These little swirlies. And you know, these swirlies are expensive to buy. I have a couple packages over there and they cost me like 10 bucks or something. But these succulents, I know they do have succulents at Hobby Lobby and stuff and succulents are not cheap, y'all. I was grateful to be able to buy um, this one business out. I mean, I was sad that she had to sell, but I was grateful that 
I could um, purchase them from her. Thanks, Connie. Thanks, Gigi. Thank you very much. We're just going to throw a spot of orange here. So we've got our orange here, right? And then just a little bit kind of here and there. We don't want to go heavy because this is just a simple succulent wreath, right? Um, we do have pink, yellow, and green. Now just because you have a color does not necessarily mean that you have to bounce that color all over the wreath. You can just have a focal point where that color is just in that. Um, so it's personal preference on what you want to do. So I, I kind of want, in my mind I'm kind of seeing like a little, like, you know, just bring it down a little bit. The one thing when you cut these up, this particular kind, um, the paper will kind of start to come off. So I'm going to make a pick out of this with my pick machine. If you don't have a pick machine, you might just have to get you some uh, floral wrap tape and um, tape it. I say floral wrap tape because that will usually, um, oh, that's cute right there. And I know that this area is a little bit uh, open. I'm okay with that, totally okay with that. Totally okay. Yay! So glad. Oh, forgot. Okay. Maybe. Nope, I just want it on that side. I'm so I hate walking in front of the camera. Because when I watch others, I hate, like, when I can't see what they're doing or they're in front of it. And when everything is wired, we can make it do what we want. So I like that. Let's see if I have one more. Blast. I do not. Well, I do. I have this one. So I do like, I kind of, you know, the rule of three. Um, rules are meant to be broken, so you don't have to do them, but I tend to, I'm old school, so I, I'm always like, that's how you were taught. But break those barriers. Whatever looks pretty. Don't have to be, so now at least we have our three, right? I think a little bit of white and we're done, right? Just a little bit maybe of white here and there. Let's see. We'll see. I don't know until I like hold it up. So, um, a couple little spots of white. See what that does? Because we want to create um, some depth. And like Bob Ross says, you can't have depth without dark and light, right? I love Bob Ross. So, just a little bit here and there. Ooh. Oh, no, did you guys see that? Oh, my God. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see? I have glue <laughs> in my hair from my glue pot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I have my glue pot sitting here, you guys. <laughs> look, look, I have my glue pot sitting here. And I just... 
my hair and my glue pot. <laughs> oh my god, how am I gonna get that out? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I think I have a hair tie in my pocket. <laughs> what happens on a live? And I should know better because the other day I leaned over and I like got my, that's why I wear. Oh my gosh. Man, go ahead, laugh. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay to laugh. It's all right. It's only hair. If I have to cut it, it'll grow back. I haven't had my hair done. I haven't had my hair did in, uh, since before COVID. So, oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, two more of these. Where's my last? That's a bummer. All right, so I just want a little bit of white over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sometimes with these, there we go. don't need white. Let me see. Nope, don't like that. I want to stick with my original colors. There's another white piece. So if you're wondering what these are, these just came out of this bush from um, Hobby Lobby, of course. It's one of their standard things they always have. Oh my gosh, you're not laughing, Robbie. <laughs> oh, under hot water, you think, Gigi? Oh my god. Well, if I uh, come back later on tonight or tomorrow, and uh, I have got shorter hair, y'all will know why. <laughs> oh man. Like I needed one more thing to do today. Last. So I was just seeing where, like, some places have dark. See how, so you see how this was, like, pretty dark. This, like, it's like a shadowy area. I know it won't photograph well. So I need to put something in there. Like, if you saw it in person, you would be like, oh, that's fine. That's cool because your eye sees the dimension. But when you photograph it and you're trying to sell your products, you need to make sure that it will, um, that it shows how you meant it to show. And that may be just too big of a white piece to go there. Less it'll let me shove it in there further. All right, now, so we have all of these wonderful things. Oh, wait. Has someone done it before? Cotton ball and acetone. Okay. This should break the glue bonds to allow you to come through. Oh, thanks, Robbie. Thanks. I have to do that. <laughs> oh. So, these swirlies, like they, um, so they have like this little wire that's keeping them in a circle. You can do that or you can undo the wire and make it spirally on its own. Like, let me show you. So this, if I undo this little wire right here, that's kind of holding them together. And you can just kind of, isn't that fun? Look, it's so fun. Like it just, be, these wreaths are so wonderful and I don't know out in my shipping container if I have any more or if these were my last two but I do remember buying several so but I just love it because these these little whimsical things are just so fun And then you have these. I mean, any more, if you've noticed, um, in the 
and I guess it's a good thing. I guess I'm just old school. Um, old, old school, right? But anymore, they're making like groups of flowers and stuff. So you don't have to think about it. You don't have to come up with your own what should go with what. Pretty much they're all done. And lots of times all you got to do is like buy it and stick it in. Which I guess is easy for, um, which is nice just to make something easy and quick. But I guess I'm just used to having to put in each thing and I'm trying to get out of that mode to make things easier and faster because um, time is money but I don't know my personality just isn't in it if you do all the pre-made stuff I'm gonna bring this down and then up that's better look at that How cute, guys. That didn't take us any time at all without the hair incident or whatever. Um, so cute. Let me just bring it over to you. So how cute and darling is that? And it didn't take us any time at all. We use lots of fun succulents, right? A couple things that look like cabbage. We made sure our bunny didn't stick out. Don't forget, I'll have to use my needle nose and like push that in so you don't see it. But so easy, so fun, so cute. I love it. I love it. Those twigs are so cool, aren't they, Connie? Yes. All right, guys. I'll try to get that listed in my shop for anybody who doesn't want to do, do it on their own or whatever. But... Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. It was so nice of y'all to pop in. Uh, I'm grateful for the stars. Thank you guys very, very much. Um, we will try to get the classroom done as soon as possible. But so tonight, if, see how this gal, she's just got a little pink left and then I'll do a couple more layers, okay? Um, uh, it'll just depend on if she gets done or not, if I go live tonight or I'll try to do it tomorrow for sure. And Amy, I believe it was Amy, who wanted to know how to do the uh, ears. Maybe I'll try to get a quick tutorial in before that, but if not, I'll do one after. So, but anyway, we'll work on her, our bunny lady, later, you guys. But I want you to know I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Friday's almost here. The weekend's almost here, so hang in there. All right, guys, please share the love, and I'll talk to you later. See you.